Hi guys, welcome to another video. I'm very excited because today I am taking you through how I host a cute little dinner party. This is actually a Galentine's dinner. The way I do it is the same for everything. This time though, we're doing little mini pizzas for everyone to kind of make themselves. We're gonna make a few to start off with and then have people make like personal pizzas. Normally, I'll cook like a bigger meal, um, but we're doing like cute little appetizers, chips, you guys will see, okay? If you guys are new here, subscribe. Breadwinning Housewife just dropped in real time literally 15 minutes ago so i will have our second collection linked below you guys can shop it we can all match i'm wearing the sweatpants right now so cute taking you through my day we're going into detail first things first we go get flowers you have to go to trader joe's for these because they last the longest and they are the cheapest Right now we are at Whole Foods. The girls are bringing wine. I'm gonna see what I like in there, you know? Since I'm not really cooking today, I'm just getting kind of like pre-made appetizers. This is a much better situation for me. We've got pizza crust, pizza toppings, some desserts, some little appetizers, so much cheese, vegetables, I mean, we have everything here. I got so much stuff. I spent a lot more because I got a ton of different foods and treats and stuff because obviously it's like Valentine's Day. So I feel like that's the theme of it. I'm back. Obviously, I need to clean up a little bit. I have so many blankets on this couch right now. So I'm going to do the dishes, clean up, and then I'll give you guys a haul of everything that I got. I spent a lot more and I got a lot more than I normally do. It's not always this expensive, but I'm kind of just like going all out. All right, giving you a little Whole Foods haul. We have Parmesan, pizza sauce, whipped cream, these little mushroom things, dates, strawberries, these little croissants, peppers, lots of vegetables pepperoni, olives, a bunch of cheese, pizza crust, red onions, more cheese, and then these little Belgian waffles. We're making cute little things. I was gonna make these cute little strawberry shortcakes, but they didn't have any there, so I got these instead. I also got this little cooling and baking rack because I have a ton of cookie dough right now, so I thought I would make cookies as well. I am about to make my floral arrangements. These are from the last book club that I hosted. <laughs> It's okay, but I also brought down these and I forgot about I found this vase because um, I just got a lot more flowers So this will take a second. I'll show you guys the after This is probably the most subpar floral arrangement thing I've ever made in my life. This always looks better in person because I like it to just be messy and have dimension, if you will. I felt like I had so many more flowers than I actually bought, and I feel like I spent a lot of money on flowers for Trader Joe's, so I thought I was getting more. I only used three vases, so this is just random. I should have cut them shorter, but it's fine. This one, the hydrangeas got like ruined in the car. And then um, this one is fine, but because I'm actually filming hosting today, of course it's the day that I'm, you know, not killing it as much. This one always goes right here, and I have these flowers here still. I haven't like lit them or anything. This one I put over by the TV, and this one goes in the corner by um, like where I keep the drinks. All right, here's my little Amazon haul of everything I got. Again, normally I wouldn't do plastic. I would use like actual silverware, actual plates, things like that. But these are really cute, so I decided to order them. We have little pink plates I mean come on like those are adorable and then for my candle holders I got pink candles to replace them with these are cheesy red hearts we'll see if we end up wanting to use them a little pink table runner and these are pink napkins they clash so I'm not sure if we're gonna use them actually it kind of looks cute together when I put everything together so it might be fine and then gold cutlery I mean like this is obviously way too much all right, guys, I'm now going to set the table just so I can have a sort of vision. So I'll just time lapse this. Mm -hmm. 
This is the table. Um, I wish that it matched a little bit more. I think it's cute. Those, <laughs> the candles are definitely very hot pink. But we have this nice little table runner that's like kind of cute and like a little bit cheap looking from Amazon. Um, these, I cannot remember where they're from. The rest of it we just have set up. We have more than six people coming, so this is like whoever sits here. More just for fun, and then we'll have extras around the house. It's really cute, really easy. I prefer a tablecloth with matching table napkins and stuff. This is more like Valentine's Day themed. If you guys want to see my other ones that I've had, like with my furbish stuff I just bought, so beautiful. It's on my Instagram, literally so cute. All right, so I'm gonna make these now just so they can sit in the fridge. They're basically like Snickers bars. They're dates with peanut butter. You just like take the pit out, cut it in half, put peanut butter in, and then put it in the fridge. They're so easy to make and they're so good, oh my God. I'm very hot. Are you hot? No, I'm wearing a tank top. Okay, well, it's probably because I'm wearing I'm this. It's 70 degrees outside. Jessica is here, as you can tell um, by the, um, the attitude in the background. <laughs> um, but she came and brought wine. We have about an hour and a half until everyone is getting here. And now is the tricky part because you want to time everything very well. And everything that we're serving tonight kind of needs to be warm. Yeah. So we have a little waffle plate. We have dates. the dates. We have cookies. Pizzas. Pizzas. The pizzas will be like the meal though, so we'll put that over there. Um, the house is looking cute. I've gotten so many packages today, it's not even funny. This is so cute. I mean, we've also added a few to our invite list tonight. So this is looking beautiful. We're really stocked. We're incredibly popular, obviously. Also, look, I got the We're Not Really Strangers Friendship Edition. Oh, Lauren and I just like are obsessed with card games in general, so I've just been buying a ton. I also have this package today from Netflix. It's their Netflix book club. And look, guys, I mean, it's the most me thing ever. Oh, I have all the food over here, and I think we're gonna get started now. We have this little cookie tray, which by the way, we're gonna serve the cookies on here. Cute. Cause you bake and uh, I just think it's cute. cute. We have this that has been at my house because up until last weekend, Jessica was a vegan and she had like a little cheese board plate. So it's been at my house. I want more like serving boards and stuff, but the problem is that I'm running out of, oh, I'm running out of space in my kitchen and I need to just kind of reorganize my house so I have more space. But we also have this one, which kind of looks weird on my marble counters, but like, what are you gonna do? Here we go. Good stuff. Yeah, we have so much food. Oh my God. Yeah, that's what I was saying. I got those too. Oh, that's the other thing we have for appetizers. Yeah. All right, so the first that we've decided is we're gonna put these little croissants, if you will, in the oven. And then I forgot also when I was listing those off, I've already shown you guys, but these little mushrooms, they just looked good. So we also have these which actually need to be warm. So these are gonna be the last thing that we do. We have cookie dough that I already had. Um, and then we're gonna make like a waffle board thing. Situation. Situation. These are like the serving trays that we have. Plus I have cute. Um, plates. This I think we're just gonna end up putting the pizza on top and just like stack it. And then we have like random stuff here, but we're gonna make it look cute. Don't worry, also, forgot about this. Also, it's starting to look beautiful. We have our stuff that we're chilling and then we're gonna put like back up, like replacement wines back there. And then again, we'll put all of the, um, like if you guys watched the last, did I even vlog last time? I don't know, but. I did TikTok. The red wine is not on ice because we're not animals. I know someone's gonna be like, you're not supposed to put red wine on ice. It's not on ice. This is on ice, that's not. Okay. People are police. I'm glad that you said that because I wouldn't know. We just like the look of it. Anyways, we're gonna put all the cups or the wine glasses and the flutes and everything over here. We just haven't gotten to that yet. But, oh, look who's saying hello. We do have these ready to go in the oven. And then next is cookies and then next is the mushrooms. Yeah. And then, cool. That like toaster oven thing is also a toaster, obviously. Toaster oven, that's what that would be. Yeah. I'm losing it today, guys. Anyways, we're gonna do that, and I think we're gonna have some pizzas ready to go to just put them in, probably around like seven or so, So like later on, we have about an hour. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I don't feel called yet to put my juicy tracksuit on, but I know that it's coming soon, and I will be hosting Valentine's Day in a juicy tracksuit, as I should. 
Yep. So we have this going for us. We haven't decided what we're gonna do with our cheesy decor yet. I'm trying to burn the rest of this candle, so I'll have these two. We have the fire on right now, but I will be playing early 2000s music videos. Oh, a very important part of the night is setting the vibe. So I'm currently testing different Galentine's Day playlists to see which ones we like the best. Um, a lot of it's like Fergie. Oh, the Spice Girls. You know what? This one might. This one really might be it. Here she is. To my juicy tracksuit. Um, it's a must hosting. It's the law. I did make it up. Um, so yeah, anyways, we have our little drink station over here. A lot of drinks will be arriving soon. Guests are gonna start arriving within the next 20 minutes. And uh, I'm not doing horrible on time. I don't know, I have hair or something in my eyes. So if I look like I'm crying. Um, you are. I am. Uh, guests are arriving soon. I need everyone to make sure they're eating this here's the thing like dates look gross and then you eat them i think like, dates are delicious they're so good that is one of the best desserts lauren and i literally ate the next after book club last mm -hmm. time she came over and we ate them for dinner like the leftovers and That's... we were like honestly i hope no one knows how good these are ever because we just have so many leftovers but anyways cleaning up doing the dishes getting everything situated we have like really so much like like little stations we have stations but they're not like set up like this is not it's okay. What it should be looking like. Like this over here needs to be clean. You know what I mean? Just totally. Exactly not. Okay, so this will be extra. We have these two. Then we'll have more candles once that's going. But honestly, I'm feeling good. I think once I situate this over here. Yeah, you'll feel better. I'll feel better. The mushrooms are in the stove. I'm about to put the waffles in here. Okay, so the waffle bar, this will be the waffle bar. First thing is recognizing that it is really scary to be alone, especially when you're going through like a trauma or grief or, you know, after a breakup or something. But I think if you can, you can kind of reframe it as an opportunity to grow and to just under kind of understand things better. 